trip out to main base, I loaded up on some more stone brick and a few other goodies. Got stone brick, I got a stack of mossy stone brick. Some chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone, and regular sandstone, some glowstone, a little bit of smooth stone. And I've got my ender chest packed full of goodies like blaze rods and coal. Alright, let's go ahead and head on down here. And yeah, not only did I, I figured since I went ahead and got the dog, Ralph here, that I would go ahead and bring the cat along as well. The cat has sat in the main base ever since I brought it back from the Great Desert, the Epic Desert, whatever you want to call it. And so I figured, what the heck? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Shouldn't ask a question like that, I suppose. Realized I don't have any inventory space. I can't pick that up. So one block. Who cares? All right. Let's put a little bit of this away. Very little, it seems. Okay. Well, I can make a little bit of room here. Get all of these furnaces fired up with blaze rods. some of these chests up here and well wait a minute don't need the obsidian not down here not upstairs anyway I don't think I want the portal up on the surface this time and of course it's night oh well You did good, but now I gotta get you some food. Alright, let's go get some daylight here. Now I gotta go get some pork chops for the dog. That's the one problem with the dogs. Get into a fight, and they join in too. Even if it's not the best idea in the world. Let's get some daylight first. And yes, the dog can stick his head through the door and the cat can get on the bed. Alright. I'm gonna need to find some pork chops. I don't think they'll, if I recall correctly, they don't eat cooked meat, do you? Ah, you do. Alright. Let's take care of that. Let's get some of these chests down here. And, oh, hey, looky there. Dog, I guess a spider. Oh, there's your pork chop. You sit down first. I guess your health is fine then. Alright. Where the heck did the cat go? Well, no doubt. 
cats being cats, it will show up when I least need it to. <laughs> Alright, let's get all this put up for the moment. Start with some stone brick. Get the base of this wall finished and go from there. Not exactly sure where I'm going with this design, so we'll just have to do it and see what happens because really. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Oh, yeah. I had those there for a reason. Okay. in here. Without filling it back in when I don't need to. This was going to be doorways, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. What do we got stashed over here? I don't remember. Wood, stone brick, okay. Now I could bring some glass. So we can start doing something about the windows. Of which I recall I wanted a fair amount of. That's a start. There's something here. Of course, I don't think I want a dirt floor in here either, so I'm probably going to take all that up. So no sense in filling it in with dirt. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out and put down smooth stone. a swing at him and he still didn't mess with me. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we have a floor in place. The bare beginnings of a wall. A couple of doorways. And I need to start thinking about which way the track is going to come in. see main base is back that way so it's sensible for it to either be on this side here on the front or over on this side and I do kind of think of this as the front sort of kind of although if it was actually a front you'd think there would be an entryway on it I might do that maybe twin entryways one on this side one on this side and then those can become something else. Well, if I do it that way... Uh, let's see. If I do it that way... I can have track coming in 
this way, going down here. The rival zone would be, end up being over here. And departures over this way, and with the works back there. Yeah, that works. That sounds like a plan. Just regular sandstone here. Just to kind of mark where I'm going to put the track because I don't have any with me right now. Let's, let's try this. I should be using the silk touch for that. track comes in here and somewhere about here it starts to go up a ramp the usual and standard usual and customary standard thing up here, cart hits here, falls down on here, with it going to be the usual arrival detection thing with a pressure plate. And after the rider gets off, cart will continue on this way. here, go up another ramp, and then there will be the usual and customary Pez dispenser. And that will lead over this way to the launching system. And outbound track will come back up here, connect to the same line it came in on, Yeah, that'll work. Alright, and yeah, I did find the cat eventually. As I predicted, it showed up when I didn't need it to, in the way. So I parked them both over here to uh, keep them out of harm's way of things like swinging picks and so on. Alright, let's see about doorways that's gonna have to go of course All right. yeah Yeah, that looks good. And I know three Y three Y is problematic. Very problematic in terms of actually being able to close it. But I could always like go fence gaze across the middle or something. Maybe fence gaze and pressure plates or something. Not a hundred percent certain yet. Like I said, making this up as I go. Alright. 
is starting to shape up into something. This should just be one wide. Something like that. In which case we don't need it over there. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get this wall made up a little higher and Well, to the point where it's too high anyway, so that unwanted guests won't just come waltzing right on in. All right. Needless to say, these interior torches are temporary until more permanent lighting arrangements can be made. thinking maybe I will have a doorway over this way because I went out there getting something and I had to tear that down to get back in. Alright, let's see. here. That'll work. At least for now. The question though is what needs to go on that top. Oh, yeah. Smooth sandstone. Dog, you are a hazard. Park yourself, will you? Alright. I need to go get some daylight arranged, and then I think I'm going to bring the bed back here to the construction site so that I can keep it daylight. We don't have to play games with, uh, let's keep the dog from killing himself on uh, a skeleton. And I left the door open. Alright. Yeah, it's time to break the bed and bring it over there. This is just a temporary shack anyway. Alright. And for the moment, temporarily, I'm just going to set the bed. 
right there. Alright, let's offload some of this crap. Oh, I've got a potato and a broken bow. Yippee doo. Oh yeah, that's right. Smooth sandstone. <coughs> that should work. like that. out again after I put it away and I clearly didn't bring enough oh well there's sand nearby if nothing else I'll just cook some up yes I remembered to silk touch it only just, but I did. back section does not need to be open at all.
torches around the edges. We don't want rooftop spawns either. windows here all right and I'm going to block this and this well how about let's block these Temporarily, until I figure out what I'm going to do with that, just to keep the unpleasantries out. And of course, there's more to this place than just being a rail station because I'm thinking, you know, putting a bed here could be the idea that perhaps not just a rail station. Perhaps it should also be an apartment, you know, a place to stay while here. Mm. Yeah, and that would, uh, I think, be best on a second floor upstairs. Well, either that or I could just run down the stairway there and stay in the, in the stronghold. That's a distinct possibility, too. Okay. Alright, I am going to take a few minutes here and kind of give this some thought and figure out just how I want to proceed with this.